Ignition sequence start. Engines on. Five, four, three, two, one. All engines running. Launch commit. Lift off. We have lift off. I have to admit, and I've been getting a little suspicious lately. As you probably know, a certain man has gone from near obscurity to national prominence at a meteoric pace. Today's name is almost inescapable in our society, yet no one's tried to look deeper. No one seems willing to shine the light of truth behind the scenes to see who pulls this man's strings. Who or what is selling this person to America, and why are we so eager to buy? I am, of course, talking about Mr. Phipps. Five years ago, he's nobody. Now his name is plastered over millions of bags of chips and other snacks. We're right to the top of snack-making giant RGR Nabisco to find out who this guy is. Is he a shareholder? Is he part of the Nabisco corporate takeover in the 80s? Phipps people replied, The trademark Mr. Phipps was chosen in 1989 and registered in 1990. The name does not refer to any real person, living or dead. Rather, it was designed to rhyme with the words pretzel chips and to personify a fun product. Oh. I'm Jason Pargin, the Consumer Advocate, and reminding you that it's not who you are, it's important. It's what your name rhymes with. 